Hello to my Capricorns. Capricorns, this is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. If you're just cruising on by, thank you so much for the love and the support. I appreciate it all. This video is for March 17th through April 17th. March 17th through April 17th, Capricorns. Yeah. As we are moving through these phases, Capricorn, we're in the first quarter moon phase, like I said, uh, which kicks off on the 17th. So even if you're watching the video on the 16th of March, we're in the first quarter moon phase, right? So you have some time to rest and kind of relax and start thinking about, okay, been journaling some things. Remember, we have digital journals and calendars below. Maybe you've been journaling some things and um, the link is below and you've been thinking, okay, I like to, you know, expound on this, expound on that. Those kind of things. Are you writing it down? Are you holding yourself accountable, right? So let's get into it. I've already shuffled the cards. I've already prayed over your cards. Let's get into what your cards are saying. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. I'm not surprised. The Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands. We also have the Hermit card and then also the Tower card. Tower card is a good thing when you know what your purpose is, but it can feel like it's horrible when you don't, right? I feel like... um. And I'm talking to you, by the way, um, wherever uh, Capricorn is in your birth chart, even if you're on the cusp of Sagittarius or on the cusp of Aquarius, I'm talking to you. Even if Cap Capricorn is your MC, IC, or your Chiron, I'm talking to you wherever Capricorn is in your birth chart. So even for my cross watchers who tune in to maybe watch about another Capricorn, I'm talking to the Capricorn in you. So we are crystal clear. We got everything covered, right? So you're going through some major life changes right now. And somebody's going to feel very fortunate when you go into hermit mode to start the molting process, and you can look this up on YouTube, like the molting process of crabs, like a hermit crab, you're going through a transformation. And Source is saying to you, the energies that think it's funny to try to blow towards you and don't give you a chance to process your thoughts, they're going through a tower moment because they know something big is happening, right? But feel very fortunate for people who, in a very warm-hearted way, tell you that everything is going to be okay. Because people will try to, whenever something big is about to happen, whenever an uh, answered prayer is coming, here we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands, and also the Eight of Wands. Whenever a prayer, a prayer is about to be answered, your past always comes calling back to pull you back through a long and arduous journey that God, you prayed your way out of and source got you out of some situations. That could be a job you left, a geographical location, wherever it is, your past is always trying to pull you back into things. If you go back because maybe you're inquisitive and you just want to hear what somebody has to say or that they changed or, you know, maybe it's a bit confusing. Remember the devil is the author of confusion. But Source is going to clear it up for somebody to get as far away from that as possible. And you're fortunate enough to have people around you, whether it's this video or other people's video or a book you read or a podcast you listen to or whatever. Remember, we talked about the moon and Gemini, like who are the five energies, you know, that you can connect with that's going to help you on your journey. Right. So Source is helping you to in your in you being preyed on by other people's demons to get away from them, to get away from them, right? To get away from them. Somebody's gonna feel very fortunate to have people around them that's like that, right? The Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune connects us to Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of good luck, good fortune. It's the planet of growth and opportunity. What's on the horizon for you? So let's see what's on the horizon for you because I see sources trying to speed up somebody's prayers. Here we have, the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Magician card, and also the Page of Wands, right? A lot of fire, fire, fire. It could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is the Nine of Wands also, right? So it's two types of situations that's trying to pull you back into something. But Source is saying to you, these are energies that are predators, they prey on people's perceived weaknesses. That is why I keep saying over and over and over again, once God has answered your prayers, don't show any indication whatsoever of any weaknesses because that's what predators like to prey on, weakness. They're still in a jungle situation themselves and they're trying to see if they can lure you back into something. So that's no subliminal post on social media. 
whether it's a song, a meme, a, anything that's showing that you miss anything about being in a jungle situation because energies are trying to lure you back into some stuff. Matter of fact, hey, you don't even need to pray for them. That's outside of your universe. It's not your responsibility. Sources say this is what somebody really desires. Somebody desires, here we have 10 of cups, to be in a happy, harmonious relationship. All your prayers are being answered, but right before you your prayers are answered and remember time is relative so somebody may be saying but when when am i gonna meet my person please don't rush it because you'll run right into a karmic situation your your past is trying to pull you back into something and so sources like whatever the two types of situations you prayed your way out of they're going through a tower moment right now you don't need to see what how tower moment people are going through right so people are praying on them so they're hoping to pull you back into it because misery loves company so don't forget to journal. You're going to feel like, okay, that's not my responsibility. I'm moving on from it. And you're getting very clear messages from source. That's what prayer and meditation is all about. You want clear answers from source. Because if you're going back to the same thing, Capricorn, that you prayed to get out of it, they're in a state of confusion. They're in a state of confusion. That's why all hell is breaking loose in their life. And they're miserable. Like, hey, maybe I can, maybe I can you know, uh, drain Capricorn again. So then now your money is dried up. Now everything is dried up. Remember you're an earth sign. You're trying to plant seeds in fertile soil, right? New seeds moving forward. So you're going to feel like a teenager again, just getting away from them. Source is cooking up something really nice for you. I see a breakthrough happening for you. If you're a person that's used to being blowtorched into your blessings, that's something you need to pray away. This is a year of wealth, and if you want to receive more wealth, you're going to have to be in healthy, divine feminine energy. Divine feminine energy. You need to get away from energies who have the worst possible thoughts about you. I don't care who they are. Mom, dad, cousin, uh, school teacher, love interest, whoever. They got the worst possible idea about you. Do yourselves and them a favor. Leave that bridge burned. I can't say it any clearer than that because Source is trying to answer somebody's prayers. Source is trying to answer somebody's prayers. Somebody wants that. Somebody wants to settle down, meet your person, celebrate. And I see you meeting a new and exuberant love for those of you all who want this family life situation. Or if you don't have your, if you already have a family life situation and you want to meet your, um, you want to meet your soul community, you're going to have to be obedient so that tower doesn't fall on you. Yeah, you're going to have to be obedient so that tower doesn't fall on you. So, first quarter moon phase. We're currently in the first quarter moon phase in Gemini. And remember, if you go back and watch the previous video, the, the moon in Gemini is about learning how to flip the switch and stepping through your portal. So, I'm going to have to not be confused. I need to leave their behinds. I need to leave them behind in their lost wilderness. That's not... Because you'll start developing a God complex. I got to go back and save somebody. No, we don't have the power to do that. You don't have the power to save your spouse, your friend, your parents, your adult children. You can only gently lead people. That's it. The fire in you, that warmth in you is helping people lead them into the light. You're not trying to control somebody else's fire. That, that's a person with a God complex. Trust me, you don't want to tiptoe over into that realm because... That will bring out an ego. That will bring out edging God out. They're not moving fast enough. And, 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 and I mean, I just want them to come on now. Come on. I'm going to wait for you. No, you're not. You're going to keep right on moving forward. Sun card. Here we also have the six of wands, the eight of swords. Here we have the four of pentacles, the five of cups, and the eight of cups. I couldn't have said it any clearer. See how this water dried up right here? It's not even fertile. It's, like, it's just dried up. Your creativity will dry up waiting for them to change. It would be a complete and utter nightmare to them, and it would be a complete and utter nightmare to you. So I definitely see you back in the saddle and saying, I'm getting away from anybody who is committed to uh, thinking the worst about me. That's in-laws, that's their friends, that's them, that's whoever, Lottie, Dottie, and everybody. Put it down. Anybody that's committed to thinking the worst about me, listen, I'm leaving all of y'all in the dust. The sun card. And since we're talking about family, including your own, since we're talking about family, 
if you're in a situation with somebody and this is what you desire, it should be a requirement that if they bring you into any circles, any circles, and they don't cover you and they don't protect, that's a conversation you need to have before you step through the next portal with somebody. If you don't cover me, you invite me into some circles in a friendship circle or work situation or whatever, that should be your requirement. If I accept this high paying job and I work for a manager who is spineless and they don't, they don't, and they don't have a, uh, a healthy work environment at that probationary period, I'm taking all the training I can get because I'm about to ask for a 60% increase in my next wealthy place. Okay. I'm not playing games. This is how somebody is going to learn how to become wealthier. Like, you know, your worth. Somebody has been around some very predatory energy who prey on people's perceived weaknesses. They want you to be heartbroken, broke, busted, and disgusted, just like they are. And you're very fortunate because you got loved ones who are wealthy that want to help you financially. They see what you're trying to do, but they also see how people have preyed on you too. They're like, okay, I'm not gonna give Capricorn. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna open up the vault to Capricorn. I'm gonna let Capricorn learn. You don't have to come out. And they're, they're praying for you. They're making sure they're helping you gently just guide you because they already know that when you talk about predatory energies, those energies will use you. If they feel like you got, they feel like that you don't have any money problems or issues because you're connected to people with money, they'll tell you what you want to hear, you know, to get what they can get from you. And so you got loved ones around you. Like I said before, they praying for you. Here we have the five of cups here. And we also have the Eight of Cups. It's time to put a manhole cover over the past. Somebody desires healthy friendships and love interest. Your soul community, right? And you can find your love interest in your soul community. It's time to put a manhole cover over the past so you can get to the Ten of Cups. You have way too many things to focus on, other healthy things to focus on. So here we also have the Four of Pentacles. Time, you know, like I said, sources want, this is right here is about being conservative with your time. Don't give it any energy whatsoever. You don't care what they're going through. And that, that may sound cold to some people, but the way people out here preying on people, when they figure out, oh, this person, they have access to this, they have access to that. Your family members, that's how they were able, some of your family members, that's how they were able to keep their wealth. Because they are, they will recognize a snake up front. They'll recognize what you don't want to see. You say, well, but no, they wouldn't do that to me. Yes, they would. Somebody already peeped their energy. They already went. So when you start saying, well, I have money problems. I have such and such and such and such. Be grateful for those people who are like, I will detach from those people to be with you. But see, some of your family members, the read you can't bring certain people around you, and you can't bring certain family members around your family because they've already saw a snake in them. I feel like somebody may be waiting for a family member who's like, okay, you can't trust them because of this and that. They're not trying to get into an argument with you. They love you. They're praying for you. They're not trying to prey on you. And some of your friends, they're like, you know what, I got my, I'm have to let them learn on their own. You know, I'll be here for them, you know, to be a, you know, like a, a listening ear and just kind of be warm and just pray for them. But everybody's not interested in blowtorching people. Everybody's not interested in that. But if you go back to, this is a fire energy. It could be fire in there, somewhere in their birth chart. It doesn't always have to be their um, sun sign. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You go back to that. Mm-mm. No, nope. you sabotaging the very things you prayed for. So let it rest. Give it some rest. Some people playing games with you. They playing games. They saw that they weren't able to mess up your money in the in the past. They saw they weren't able to mess up your ideas. You just going along with the flow. You got all these wonderful ideas and stuff. And so, see, it. You got some family members that could really teach you how to flip the script on some people. But they're really trying to keep that away from you because if you don't know how to operate in wisdom, then you'll just be reactive, getting into black magic, doing all kinds of stuff because now I'm so, you know, like I'm operating in fear and not operating in faith. So be grateful for people who are not teaching you about the dark side of things. They're just there to just, you know, gently guide you and praying for you. So congratulations in advance for you attracting your soul community and getting away from because it's going to be exactly what you prayed for. So make make the prayer good. Exactly what you prayed for. But you got to make room. You got to release other energies. There's two types of energies you need to release. They are energies that prey on people's perceived weaknesses in your personal and your professional life. 
I just gave you the answer right there. They prey on people's perceived weaknesses. Leave them in the wilderness. They are not your responsibility. Source is going to handle them. Source is going to allow them to cry out to source for help. These people are playing games. Here we also have the seven of one. So I definitely feel like you're going to be you and somebody that you're coming towards. And as source is bringing you towards somebody fast, you could already be with your person. Maybe their family don't like you. And so it's like, okay, I'm not trying to prove to them anymore. Maybe it's their friendship circle that don't like you. I'm not trying to prove to them anymore. If I'm with my person and I feel like me and my person are tight, I'm not trying to complain to them anymore. If they're showing me that, hey, you know, um, if, if this if this manager is like, listen, you are the product of my intelligent decision. We chose you. We know what you're coming in here with. And we're putting everybody in line. You let me know if you have any problems with any of the employees. I already know them. I will pull them into this office like that. So, or, or in a romantic situation or friendship situation, right? So yeah, you're not, you're not going backwards. Here we have the princess of cups. So source is definitely giving somebody their wishes fulfilled. Trust and believe. Source is definitely giving you your wishes fulfilled. So don't go back. Don't go back to a wilderness situation. Here we have high priest. That's lets me know that somebody's still being stubborn. Somebody could have Taurus somewhere in their birth chart. Somebody is, but, but see source gate, this also the light side of high priest is, is also high priest energy is also a person who knows, okay, God answered my prayer, got me out of something. So I feel free and I feel liberated. So keep right on going forward. I feel free and I feel liberated. I'm not going to keep going back, trying to prove a point. If you are committed to this, this was a, this is what you're saying to yourselves, right? Put a, put a, cause these types of energies like to put spells on people and leave you in a state of confusion. And this is how they're able to do it. Keep you in a state of confusion. We know the devil is the author of confusion. They're on the dark side of magic. They like to tell people, you're never going to be good enough. They say it enough, you start believing it. That's a spell. Or you're never going to make enough money. Or they try to play games by trying to show you, oh, I can get better than you can. Good. That's where you need to be then. That's exactly where you need to be. You don't have time for people's games. Source is trying. Source is saying, take your power back. You have a lot of great ideas that's going to make you a lot of money. But I feel like somebody has a family members that have a lot of money that's trying to help you. I feel like maybe somebody's just waiting for somebody to sit you down and say, come on, Capricorn. Like these people playing games. And so, again, a person is not going to tell you that because they don't want you to feel bad like you can't make decisions on your own because you all are an incredibly smart sign. But you don't need to be working this hard to prove to anybody that you have all of these great ideas and that you'll work hard and put all your blood, sweat, and tears. You're talking about a lot of fire, your sweat. I'm not putting any sweat in that. So they can manipulate your emotions and get what they need to get out of you and then turn around and strike like a snake and then tell everybody that you're the one with the temper. Yep, definitely energy is trying to reach back out to you. They'll start to try to reach back out to you via, you know, them telling you that you couldn't do something. You'll know the person has a spell that put a spell on you. When you start, the first thing to come to your mind when something that you said you were going to do didn't work out and they came up with something negative. People do all kinds of subliminal stuff. They'll do stuff like, you know, put all these people in front of you to make it seem like, okay, you should, you should aspire to be like them. But yet and still, they bring you into folds and leave you uncovered. You should aspire to be like that person. It's like somebody telling you about how fine their ex is, almost as if you're not good enough and you don't measure up. And then that's where you need to be. Take your power back. That's what I'm saying. You're going to feel like a teenager getting away from these energies. Because if you're not allowed, if you don't give yourself, Capricorn, a chance to make up your own mind and process things the way you need to process them through prayer and meditation, you're going to feel powerless. And that's why I'm trying to help you all is like, really, you will feel powerless. Like I'm a robot. Like, why, why don't I see this? You all are an incredibly smart sign. Everybody who is developing their gifts and talents develops them in different ways. Some people have to write it down. It's like we're learning stuff. You're learning how to develop your gifts and talents. Some people go into math classes and boom, 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 they got it. They got it. They got it. Hey, add. Some people need to study it. Some people need to say it over and over and over again to say, okay, I got this. You're learning a new language. Same thing. You got to practice it. Some people listen. They catch on quick. 
You know, some people, okay, they need to write it down. It doesn't make you slow. It doesn't make you, it, it makes you smart, wise enough to know this is how I learn. And then I'm going to sharpen how I learn. That's it. That's it. You can't let other people make you feel bad. So it's a lot of fire in this card. And some people are going through a tower moment right now because they could not reach out to you and bring you down. Here we have the, um, the, the uh, magician card came out twice. Like I said, it's two types of energies all together. Two types of energies all together. Somebody's ex is trying to make them jealous of somebody's ex-colleague, ex-love interest, ex- Listen, an ex is an ex for a reason. If they are ex, thank God they with somebody else. God, thank you for solving the problem. For real. Like, you don't need to know who they with. You don't need to know who looks better than whom, who has more money than whom. Thank God you took them off of my hands. That's not my problem anymore. I don't have to carry that. I'm trying to sift through my own generational cycles, chains, and curses, and I don't have to I don't have to carry their burden. You know what I'm saying? That's not my responsibility. I don't have to carry their burden. I would not care if they ended up with Mr. or Miss Universe. It wouldn't matter. I do not care. I have zero F's to give. For real. Like somebody need to have that conversation with themselves. I don't care who you end up with. You try to prey on me, you use your friends and other family members and stuff to prey on me. Listen, if you over there, stay over there. That's the conversation somebody need to have with themselves. I feel like somebody's trying to get, you know, you on family members and loved ones to get you all riled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a blowtorch in your back. You don't need to be blowtorch. Source is letting you go through the process of learning and sharpening how you learn. You don't need to learn how other people learn. They in survival mode. Let them stay in survival mode. Let them stay in a circus situation while you get your wishes fulfilled. That's it. You're getting your wishes fulfilled. Somebody pray for somebody to be very loving, very kind, very gentle with you. And that's what's coming across your path. So kudos and congratulations to you, Capricorn. You ain't going back to people who, like I said, they're hell bent on believing the worst about you. <laughs> You are not my God. I could care less. You can file that in zero, zero. I don't care. Here we have four of swords right here. You can let this thing rest in peace for real. We have the seven of wands right here. I'm telling you, somebody's going to start not only increasing your prayer life, but also your meditation life. Here we also have the two of swords. Yeah, you go, you're moving through a rite of passage. Energies who feel like you're strategic and you sneaky and you holding on to secrets because you need time to process things. Listen, don't even step down off of your throne for foolishness at all. Don't matter who they are. Don't matter what they think. It would be a nightmare if you went back to them. So keep on moving through that passage. Keep moving through. You still ask somebody, still ask themselves, why, why, why? What's the motive? Why would they think? Who cares what they think? For real, who cares what they think? They in the wilderness. That's the answer right there. People who are lost. Remember, age doesn't equate to wisdom. So if you believe in the Bible, read the story of Job. Age does not equate to, to wisdom. You're not trying to impress people who have already decided that you were raised by a pack of dogs or you were raised by wild animals and you are uncouth and you don't know any better. Like they got to re-raise you from all of that wisdom and knowledge that was passed down through your ancestral line. See, some people would know a good person. If somebody stamped good on somebody's forehead, they wouldn't know a twin flame. If somebody stamped, this is your twin flame across their forehead because they're operating in arrogance, dogmatic behavior, and pride. Let that pride come before the fall because that's what's happening. Adjust your crown. There it is. Adjust your crown and close out the cycle airtight. I'm not thinking about it because they're trying to box you in. They're trying to, they trying to control your star. And star just means your purpose. They're trying to control your purpose. Trying to wear you out and burn you out and stress you out. Get those tears out. Get Release it, right? Release those tears. The answers that you're seeking are coming because they're going through hell right now. You are an answered prayer. But don't allow yourself to be prayed for the devil. Don't allow yourselves to be prayed for the devil. Because that, that would be putting yourself in a situation to be prayed for the devil. And so, and guess what they would tell everybody? You have a temper. That's what they would tell everybody. You're the one with the temper. So let's get the questions ready for the moon and cancer. All right. So let's get ready to close this out. So we start out with the wheel of fortune here, right? See the fortune, but see when it comes to money right here, sources say you have loved ones that 
financially can help you out of whatever financial situation that you're in. But because some of them see certain types of gold digging energies, which is not gender specific, it could be a man or woman you went into business with, romantically linked with, whatever. Because guys, um, because some of them see the gold digging energies that's still in wilderness situations. Some of them want you all to help pay their bills. Some of them want you all to front the upfront costs for businesses. They want you to do that. Source was saying, I will bring you down to a level financially where you see it, right? So I think I ever took a while ago, I was telling you all how like, um, let me pull a little bit more cards and we're going to close this out. How Source is getting messages to you through... Um, family and also through your money right so you may even find yourself that's when somebody know that they under some kind of a spell it's not just sex spells it's also a spell of i can't do it that spell of just like this friction like i need to be blowtorched before i make a move or i feel like i'm so confused i don't know what's going what and, and I'm, I'm so distracted i'm burning through my own money when it's almost to a point where it's like, okay, I wish I had more money. I don't see more money. I wish I had more money. I, don't, I can't have enough money because I'm trying to impress some people who, who are not even impressed with themselves and their purpose on the planet. You know, I mean, it, it's a whole lot of things about spell work, but don't get caught up in what you saw on the cartoons and TV with somebody swinging a something in front of your your face and saying you are under a spell. No, it's so many different ways to put spells on people. So, you know, um, but you're dealing with some energies. You got um, gold digging energies and it's two types of energies where you are still asking yourself why and sources try to take you here financially independent. So it's just trying to take you to financial independence, sit on your throne Carefully vet your thoughts, remain happy, charismatic, and free, but the only person that can save you from this is this. You're dealing with some very ruthless types of energies. People hold you in very high regard, and they actually need you to increase their money, but really they need source. So don't put yourself in a God position to help somebody that you prayed to get away from. Here we have the Ten of Cups. So source is about to put you around a different group of people. But right before, I'm telling you, right before you're about to be, and that's how people push back their 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 time. Their um, they delay their own blessings because they answer the phone call, they respond to a text message, they respond to some, they sit there and just like, okay, well, let me see what they gotta say. They're lying. <laughs> They don't even have a full truth because they're not telling the truth about their ancestral childhood and family traumas and what's been passed down to them and why they are. They haven't even accepted that. So when I say that they're lying, it may not even be intentional. They may not even know they're lying. But this it's a, a partial truth is a whole lie. If they don't know the full truth about the demons that were passed down, the inherited, you know, through their bloodline, I feel like somebody really needs you financially they really really need you and the more energy you give to it the less you'll see how fortunate you really are i'm telling you somebody got some very wealthy family members that really want to help you but they see you going through some stuff right now and they're like okay they, they don't see it they, they they still trying to learn how to navigate around snake energy right so when the when the um when the moon moves from gemini into cancer See, a lot of very, very wealthy people, you'll never know that they're wealthy because they've dealt with so many things. It's just exhausting and draining being around money-hungry people. It's just exhausting. They, they always have a reason for why they want to invite you somewhere because they want to write a check. So it's better for you to not look like you're wealthy. You know, you're not, it gives off a scent too when you're wealthy. You don't even, you're not even thinking about, okay, where the next meal is going to come from because you know about the circulation of wealth. And that's what Source is trying to teach you. That's what Source is trying to teach you. So here we have womb healing. Yeah, so it's time to, when we talk about womb healing, we're talking about just the things that you're passionate about. Stay focused on the things that you're passionate about. You have a lot of ideas. If it's negative ideas and people are committed to having negative ideas about you, how you were raised, whatever the case may be, that could have been passed down through the bloodline of both your mom and dad's side of the family. And so sources that you want to deal with that. Don't worry about other people because they have their own, they have their own trauma to deal with. 
They have their own trauma. When you tell somebody a little bit, you can tell somebody that you were a product of teenage parents all of a sudden. And there's plenty of people who had kids as teenagers that have very successful businesses and went on to create multi-million dollar, billion dollar businesses. But if that's what they want to believe, then, hey, that's what they want to believe. Or that your parents are younger than their parents. Then your parents didn't know any better because they're not ready to do the mirror work themselves. Don't buy into that, that lie. Or that you came from a, a very humble background or the wrong side. What is I don't even know what the wrong side of the tracks is. But that's what people will try to say that kind of stuff to me. Or you don't have this degree or that degree. That's a, that's the part of the work. That's that's part of the um that's part of the spell work. So you're a star in your own right, meaning you have your own purpose. And so continue flowing with source, right? So continue to listen to your water sounds on a regular basis, do things to um do things to flush out their negative ideas about you. That's how you're going to break the spell. Cut them off completely. Leave the bridge burn. Don't look at their social media. If you have a negative thought about some seeds they planted in your head in business and or in love or friendships or whatever, it's time to flush all of that out because this kind of burnout will cause somebody to be depressed and also cause somebody to burn through your own money. So nobody, somebody can give you enough money. It's just never enough because... Even if some of your family members, hey, to write you a check for a million dollars, guess who you would try to go back to impress? The very people you prayed to get away from because money in the hands of fools, dot, dot, dot. Source is trying to increase your wisdom. If people think that you come from, you don't have this and you don't have that, take a page out of some of your very wealthy family members' page book. Let whoever think whatever. That's actually protecting you. That's not putting a target on your back, a bullseye on your back where people are like, oh, they got the money. They got this and that. Okay, we, let's, let's use them. You're not, you're not a pick me. You're not ex helping, wanting people to pick you to be a part of a wilderness circus situation. If that's the case, go sign up to go be in a circus for real. Like, and, and, you know what I'm saying? But I feel, like, I feel like some energies who are trying to box you in, it's time to close them out for real. Here we have, allow me, divine, to move with the flow and respond with calmness and peace. That's it. Respond with calmness and peace. Because you're responding to sources. They won't be able to get through. They won't be able to get through. Some of them, they like to record conversations. This sneaky, slick. They'll record your conversation and try to, you know, sit there and study every little thing that you're saying. If you're on social media, they're trying to hear the inflection in your voice. They're trying to see what you, I mean, just predators, predatory energies. So, but again, you, but, but the, the, if you look at it from the highest frequency, you have, you have cut off a direct access to you. You actually inspire them to heal. You got to see it from the highest frequency. I am strong and you are. And I feel like you got loved ones around you that's going to help you remain strong. They're going to help you to remain strong. Even when you feel like your knees about to buckle and you feel hurt. I can't believe people. You got to believe it. We are here on earth. People act like savages. Some people act like savages. They don't care. So I definitely feel like you got some loved ones that's like, you know, they're the ones that's like praying you through some situations. People think prayer is, you know, pray, being meek is weak, right? They see it as, oh, they just pray for people or whatever the case may be. You are, that's actually the strongest person because that person knows I'm not going to let you get me out of, I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to let you get me heated and burned out and stressed out because I told y'all before, some people were spreading rumors that you have a temper. Stay away from those energies. Stay, you don't have anything to prove to them. Ten of knives, right? You've already been through enough hurt and pain and they know you've been through enough hurt and pain. The downside of this, here we have railroad bills. Sources actually rewarding you from staying away from them. You got some people who've been telling people that you got a temper and you belong behind bars. Okay, I don't even know what else to tell somebody for real. Like, because that's what they're trying to do. You hurt. You've gone through a lot of sword activity. You've gone through a lot of pain, lost loved ones, all kinds of things. These people are ruthless. Ace of baskets. You got to protect your emotions. So when you got loved one that's trying to help you with some stuff, here we also have the eight of sticks right here. So source is saying... Get as far away from them as fast as you can. Just stay away from them. You don't need that kind of confusion in your life. You're not trying to be a part of a circus. 
You're not trying to be a part of a circus. Source is bringing you towards financial independence. Don't step down off of your throne and give them any energy whatsoever. None. That's how people start getting settled into, well, I guess families fight. That's how they act. When people throw on pots and pans and cussing each other out and the kids are confused. There's a bunch of chaos and confusion. It was never, it wasn't meant for human beings to live on planet earth like that in savage mode, right? This is the year of wealth. If you want to be in receiving mode of more wealth, you're going to have to learn how to be in receiving mode of messages. When God is saying, close out cycles in love and move on, you're going to have to learn how to receive divine instructions. So here's the first question for the moon and cancer are, as you're remembering that you didn't feel nurtured, protected, secure, or safe in these spaces, whatever those spaces are, right? All it takes is a memory, <laughs> toss it into a burning bowl. First question is what makes you feel safe? The second question is where is your sanctuary, your place of peace and calm? Is it an inner state, a certain environment, or a specific place? The third question is do you know your female lineage, the stories of your mother and grandmothers? The fourth question is how often do you gather strength from the land and her waters? And then fifth is do you have sufficient solo time filled with self-care? Trust and believe they're watching your readings, but they're also watching theirs. So if in their readings it comes out, oh, your ex really misses you and that kind of stuff, they sitting around like it's a game. They don't care how many sword wounds you're trying to heal from. They don't care how much trauma you've gone through or what trying to, uh, trauma you're trying to work through. They want to make it worse until they completely put your fire out. Somebody better wake up. Wake up. So have some patience for yourself. You are you're moving through this these phases just like everybody else. Nobody is on a nobody is moving along faster than you are. You are exactly what source needs you to be. And so you can come through this thing recognizing how much of a prayer warrior you really are. For real. Like when you pray, you shift things in the atmosphere. That's how powerful, that's the line of people you came from. When they shift, when they pray, they shift things in the atmosphere. Stuff starts rumbling and shaking in the universe. So source is saying to you, learn how to fight through prayer. You don't have anything to prove to people. You have access to source inside of you. Source is saying, stay away from certain energies that you prayed to get away from. I am here in this present moment. I have all that I need. I lack nothing. Time is relative. All that ma right now is all that matters. I wait with excitement. All good things come in due time. All is working for my highest good because it is. They going through a tower mode right now. All hell is breaking loose in their lives and they want to pull you back into chaos and confusion because they don't want to see that source chose you to help them find the light within themselves. If that is not crazy, I don't know what is. Some people don't have the God-given sense that source gave them to see somebody who's helping them to save their life. That's a choice. That is a choice. They're under some kind of demonic attack. You are away from that. Stay away from it. Stay away from it so you can get your prayers answered. You don't need to show who your new boo is online. You don't need to, you don't need to flex. Floor. They don't need to have any access to what the good news that's coming in your life. I feel like there's some family members that either have already talked to you or will be talking to you about protecting your energy. Listen, open those ears. Let them be big as satellite dishes because they're trying to tell you how to move around gold digging energy. And I'm talking about that's, that's not gender specific. You can have a gold digger in a business situation or a romantic situation. They're trying to teach you how to get your wealth and hold on to your wealth. That's what they're trying to teach you. That's the whole message right now. Because it, because you don't see the wealth, trust and believe. These, these uh, energies that's in a circuit situation, they see it all over you. They see that you're not stressed about, you know, like you got this, you got that. Maybe you come from, you know, maybe your parents helped you out or whatever. And they're operating in jealousy. They're operating in jealousy and fear. Oh, we and these people will extort money from you. They'll do anything they need to get just get their hands on money and go on to the next supply while you sitting there brokenhearted, deeply disappointed, mad, or maybe behind bars because you flipped out on somebody. But sources saying get away from those types of energies. 
that is what I have for you all. Hopefully those questions have helped you and I'll, I'll, uh, we'll follow up on the good side of all of this in your motivational Monday reading. But I'm telling somebody it's like, you don't need to burn yourself out about these energies. If you pray to get away from that job, friendship, whatever, you don't need any ties between you and an old job. If that job burns you out, that friend in the office that you was confused about connecting with them, God, show me what I'm not seeing. I don't need to be reconnecting to trauma. I don't need to be the one that's re-traumatizing myself. Friendships, none of that. I don't need to be connected to. I don't want to hear about what my ex is doing. I don't care. That's what Source is trying to help you with. It's like, I don't need to hear about certain family members. That I don't need to know about that. That's outside of my universe. Because people will think that you're trying to hold a grudge and you're trying to heal. There's, that's a difference. You're not holding a grudge. There's too many sword. You've gone through too much trauma. So this is where you want to be in receipt of more money, more creative ideas, more um, more uh, intellect. This is the time for you to go into that crab shell, go in hermit mode, and really start thanking God that those prayers were answered. I'm so grateful that I'm not around certain people anymore. So now help me with the healing process and why I'm such an overgiver to a point of burnout. Please show me me. And show me, let me take off that old, you know, like burn the old me. Get that off of me. I don't even want to be that person where I got to stay in situations until I am burned out and frustrated and stressed out. I don't want to be that person. So then don't be that person. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.